receive Jesus. Amen. You've got to make this personal. Amen. Or they will be in heaven and you will be in hell. Come on, uh -huh. so, That's it. Amen. Keep reading. Verse 9. And now also the axe is laid upon the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit is what? Cut down and cast into the fire. You ain't bringing forth no fruit or no change, outward change. Guess what's going to happen? I'm going to cut you off and throw you into hell. Oh, my God. Well, Jesus, amen. Verse 10. And the people asked him, what shall we do then? I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Get saved. Amen. amen. Get born again. Amen. And just don't word it. Live it. Amen. Amen. That's, that's it. Verse 11. He answered and said unto them, He that has two coats, let him impart to him that has none. And he that has meat, let him do likewise. Mm -hmm. Then came also the publicans to be baptized and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, Exact, exact no more than that which is appointed to them. Now, as soon as he told them what they need to do with commissioning them, what can we do? What can we do? Mm -hmm. He's telling them, stop stealing. Change your life. That's all I'm trying to say. What do we have to do? Change. But guess what happened? No change. No change. If you do not bring forth good fruit, you are cast into the fire because your fruit reveals who you are. Now, they started to get convicted. When you preach a message like this, people get offended. How many of you are offended at me right now? Not me. Amen. Not me. Amen. Preach on. Amen. Okay. <laughs> there are two things that gospel will produce in a person. Conviction or condemnation. Amen. Yes. <laughs> it's either going to produce conviction or condemnation. Go to John chapter 6. Amen. Yep. All right. Y'all ready now? This is the one that's going to get me. All right. I got a little bit more time. But I got to. Please, Lord, help me in the name of Jesus. But this is getting ready to happen around here. So y'all need to get prepared for all y'all hungry. We're going to cover a lot of scriptures in this chapter. Ready? Yeah. Help me, Holy Ghost. Come on, get it. Remember what I said. There are two things the gospel will produce in a person. Conviction or condemnation. Let's look at verses 12 to 16 first. Then we're going to go from 22 all the way to the end of the chapter. Amen? But let's go to verse 12, 6 12. Get a background here. Right. And when they were filled, now I need to break this down real quick. That's when he fed the 5,000. Now, that meant he only counted the men. There were 5,000 men. So mm -hmm. Jesus had a lot of disciples following him. But if you were to count the women and children, it was upwards between 10 and 15,000 people. Okay? Mm -hmm. But they only counted the men in the Bible. So when he said he fed the 5,000 and 4,000, that was men. They didn't count women and children. But women and children were there. Amen? Amen. All right. So, go back to verse 12. And when they were filled... He said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. <coughs> Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. How far do I want to this? What did I say? That's what I say. Then arose, did those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of a truth, the prophet that should come into the world. Look at it. Mm -hmm. He did a favor for them. Yes, he did. He provided something. Now they believe. Oh, man, it's got to be a prophet. Amen. Uh, Amen. Let's go. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they're happy about him now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love to believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Woo, my belly feel. Amen. How many of y'all say that with that kind of My belly feel. I don't thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Verse 15. Now, here it comes, Jeff. Verse 15. When Jesus therefore received that they would come, himself alone. And when even was now come, his disciples went down unto the sea. Now, gee, they're ready to take him by force. You are king! Mm -hmm. They're going to force him to be king. <laughs> <laughs> you fed me, Lord! Alright, y'all ready? What do you want to tell them to do now? Okay. Go over to 22. Verse 22. Now, the day following when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there, save the one where his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone. How be it there came other boats from Tiberias, near unto the place where they did eat bread, after the Lord had given thanks. Mm -hmm. Pay attention, y'all. 
When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto the Rabbi, what came us down here? Jesus answered them and said, truly, truly, I say unto you, you seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were few. You only right. seek me because I gave you something. Uh -huh. Come on, y'all. Uh -huh. Labor not for the meat which perish, but for the meat which endure unto everlasting life. Which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him has God the Father sealed. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Keep going. 28. Oh man, I gotta cover all of it. 28. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on him who he sent. Mm -hmm. That you believe. He's the seal, people. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Verse 30. They said, therefore, unto them, what sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What doest thou work? <laughs> Our fathers did eat man. Pay attention to this. Yeah. Our fathers did eat man yeah. in the yeah. desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Now, he's getting ready to fit all these Jewish people. Because mm -hmm. they understood man in the desert was angels' food. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. See, it was short every morning, they eat it, but they tried to save it, it would go rotten. So Amen. God provided it every day. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Jesus is a different kind of man. Oh, y'all, who? Oh, jump in. Verse 30. <laughs> then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father gave you the true bread from heaven. Mm -hmm. See, they know he's talking about it himself. They get ready to get a finish. Remember, he got 50,000 people following him. They following Jesus. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, keep reading. Let's see how long they follow. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Give it to us. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. Oh, Amen. Amen. I am the bread of life. So be a believer. Amen. Go ahead. Verse 37. And all the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast away. Mm -hmm. Why is this? For I came down from heaven. Look what he said, y'all. Mm -hmm. See, he's offending these people. What did he say? He came down from where? Did yeah. that boy just say he came from heaven? Mm -hmm. He didn't even acknowledge Mary here. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all. He didn't even acknowledge the virgin Mary. He said, I came down from heaven. Mm -hmm. Not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Amen. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing. All of you who believe in me, I won't lose you. Amen. Come on. But to rise up again in the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone would see the Son mm -hmm. and believe on him. him up at the last day. Amen. Come on, keep reading. The Jews then, what did they do? They started murdering. Wait a minute, we know what the word say. The word don't say that. Mm -hmm. Remember, they were dealing with law books. They had to be tested. The Jews then murdered at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, it's not this Jesus, the son of Joseph. Now they're too familiar with me. Uh -huh. I saw you raised, man. You married, boy. You told me, why you don't call your sons? Amen. <laughs> and they said, it's not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, who father and, and mother we know. How is it that, how is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? I love it. Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, murmur not among yourselves. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> Y'all believe me? Come on. Mm -hmm. Watch what he said. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. So everybody, even before you accepted Jesus Christ, your name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yeah. You thought you made a choice. No, he already chose you. Amen. Amen. You said, why am I serving you like this, Lord? Because he already had you planned before. 
before you was even born. Yeah. Amen. To be written in the Lamb's book of life. Oh man, I'm getting yeah. chills. Woo! Okay. No man can come to the Father unless the Father draw him, and I will raise him up in the last day. It is written, verse 45, it is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Uh -huh. Every man, therefore, that has heard and has learned of the Father cometh unto me. Yeah. Amen. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God. Mm -hmm. He has seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me has everlasting life. Watch this, verse 48. I am that bread of life. Uh -huh. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are what? Dead. Mm -hmm. Come on. Go ahead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven. Watch what they do. Verse 55. For my flesh is the meat indeed, and my blood is the drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Amen. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me. Boy, you know these people are living. Mm -hmm. Isn't that talking about eating me? Uh, I'm supposed to eat him. Amen. Even he shall live by me. Amen. This is that bread which comes down from heaven. Not as your father and are dead, he that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Now watch this. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore his disciples when they heard, when they had heard they said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? They didn't want to walk with the Lord. They got offended. 15,000 people following him and they said, wait, we can't help this. We can't help this. Verse 61. When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Do this offend you? Hey, do this offend you? What? And if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up as he was before, you know what he said? unto him of the Father. Mm -hmm. From that time, many of his disciples, there it is, y'all, uh -huh. many of his disciples did what? Went back and walked no more with him. Gave up. They got offended. I told you to do this. You said no. Then go to hell. Then you will be sent to hell because you're a disciple and not a believer. How many of you ready to be believers? Amen. Let's keep reading. Verse 67. Then Jesus said unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Out of 15,000, only 12 stayed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have 15,000 people following you, listening to you. You teach them. Then as soon as you offended, they'll make a mm -hmm. You gave them an instruction to change their life, and they left. Mm -hmm. 
that they desire darkness oh, rather than light. Oh, then Simon Peter answered and said, Answer them, Lord, to whom shall we go? Peace, Peter got the revelation. Thou hast the words of eternal life. Yeah. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the God. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> and he spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. Yeah. 